Uh, I have a question from Daryl in my writing who runs a small business. And when he looked at the CEWS program, he noticed that the information provided on the website would make it more difficult and more complex in order for him to hire new people. Let me explain. It requires a company to have reporting periods. If he hires a person on the 15th day, then he doesn't get any of the monies from the first to the 14th day. That's usually not a problem. We don't want to pay a business when it's not hiring people. But it also means that if he hires someone after the middle of the reporting period, he also misses out on two weeks to support those wages. So my question is to the finance minister, will the changes in C20 address this issue? Good question. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, I want to thank the member for his question. I think we all share the goal of providing support for businesses so that they can employ more people as we move out of this crisis carefully and safely. The program, the way we've designed it, is allowing for an expansion of the number of businesses that can use the wage subsidy to get employees back to work and, an, uh, and a lengthening of the time they can have it so they can actually have more confidence. We uh, recognize that there is uh, clearly a need to communicate this effectively. That's something we plan on doing with a calculator so that businesses can use that. And of course, we're going to continue to try to support businesses as they hire back employees in the future. And that's certainly our, our ongoing goal together. For Calgary Shepherd. Daryl would say you don't need a calculator. You need basically a degree in quantum computing to understand what's inside Bill C-20 and how it changes the CEWS program. What I want to know in his specific situation, which is, by the way, Madam Speaker, on the website, it's uh, number 22, the example 22 that's given. If you hire someone, and this could be perhaps you've done temporary layoffs, you've furloughed employees, you have employees on shifts, if they don't work for two weeks, their, their entire wage for the month for the 30-day reporting period is not eligible if you bring them back, which is a real pain for businesses which are trying to keep their operations going. So again, to the finance minister, do the changes in C20 address this particular business issue? Very short answer from the Honourable Minister. Madam Speaker, again, uh, we, we know from the work we've done that this will significantly expand the number of employers able to use the wage subsidy and significantly expand the number of employees that will be able to get back to work. Uh, we'll continue to work with employers to make sure that we understand how this can best be the utilized.